Hey guys, I am Lana. This is from Corporate to Crystals, and we're back for another video today. Uh, today's video, I'm going to be talking about spiritual fatigue. Um, and I wanted to give a shout out to some of the clients that I've been meeting with. This is a theme through those sessions, but also through relationships in my life and myself also. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. So spiritual fatigue is basically the feeling of being fatigued from overstimulating yourself with spiritual information. Um, so when you think about, you know, your, your gifts, your psychic abilities, you being intuitive, uh, when you're going through a spiritual awakening, everything is heightened. You're more sensitive to things. So as that's happening, um, you of course gravitate towards spiritual information or spiritual modalities to try and get help, right? And to try and like learn and become kind of like the new version of you who is now having to navigate subtleties that you hadn't before. You find yourself a part of a community of other spiritual people and you get overstimulated by all the information out there. And some of it's really exciting and fun because it's new knowledge that you've never experienced before, you've never heard of before. So I am definitely not saying don't research or don't go out there. I had to do this on my path to like find my thing, right? Once you find your thing, there is such a thing as spiritual fatigue or just like knowing too much. Um, and so I kind of wanted to talk about that. There comes a point on everyone's journey, multiple points I would say, where the more you know, the less helpful it is. And I think that's what creates the fatigue in spiritual fatigue is, you know, there comes a, a part of your path where you start understanding that all the preparation, all the learning, all the knowledge, it's actually keeping you in your head more than what it is helping you to surrender and be present. And that's the whole point of, you know, being, uh, let's call it centered. When you're centered in yourself and your being, your mind, body, soul connection is centered and um, you can simply be without anything else, right? So when you are seeking additional information or seeking outside of yourself, some people do it through, you know, going to community events all the time. Um, some people do it through like doing ayahuasca or plant medicine all the time. Um, some people do it through watching tarot readings all the time. And some people just do it through, you know, nonstop research about different spiritual topics. Whatever it is, first of all, it's not a problem, right? Like you're more than, you're more than allowed to be curious and like learn. No one's telling you to not do that. But what I am telling you and myself and everyone else is there comes a point where it stops being as helpful as what it once was. You hit a point where you know a lot, you know a good amount. Right? And so the more knowledge you know, it almost starts feeling like the messier it gets because you're trying to connect the dots between this and that and you're trying to like use that in a way to predict or project um, what could be coming down the, the pipe for you, right? And I get it. And it's also like, especially when you're feeling all these subtleties and you're feeling all these you know, intuitive pings, all you really want to do is get information to prove yourself right. And I've done this a lot, you know. Um, from my experience, my spirit blocks a lot of things from me uh, because I don't need to know it yet or I, sh I would mess it up if I did know it. And so I kind of wanted this message to be that. It's like, you don't, come here, sorry my dog. You don't need to know what's coming next. That's control and that's you not surrendered and that's not you being in the present moment. What you do need to do is accept where you're at right now and just be. So 
if you're doing tarot readings nonstop or if you are just trying to constantly learn spiritual, you know, knowledge in your, your downtime, uh, again, I'm not saying any of that's bad. My, what I am saying is if you have an energy of obsession or if there's an energy of addiction or if you're finding yourself needing this information, that energy is going to keep you stuck. So pull back, redirect that energy. Um, what this looks like for me, and it'll look like something different for all of you, is if I find myself kind of like seeking a lot, where I'm just like researching way more than what I really should be, um, I find myself needing to come back to me and taking care of me. So it's like I'm seeking something external of myself. And so then I end up needing to redirect that energy. Let's call it YouTube videos, since this is a YouTube video. If I find myself like, how many hours have I watched, right? And if that's a startling number, it's okay. But then come back to yourself and say, okay, what will I allow myself from a discipline standpoint, like how many hours do I want to allow myself to, to learn in a week, in a day, in a month? And then what hours that I'm currently spending on seeking or information or learning, what hours of that time frame can I shift back to myself, to bring myself back to center, to bring myself back to present, to bring myself back to acceptance of where we are right now without the need to be seeking and learning and predicting external. Um, and I know this is so much harder than what I'm making it sound because redirection of energy is not as simple as that sounds, but truly it takes discipline of you saying, okay, I'm watching, you know, four hours worth of content every day. Some of us, I know it's way more, um, but if it's four hours, then giving yourself permission to do that, but do it in a lesser amount and then come up with a plan of how you're gonna fill in, you know, let's say you cut it down to half. Rather than four hours, you're gonna give yourself permission to research and learn and uh, be a part of community and whatever for two hours. Those extra two hours you would normally spend on it, how are you going to redirect that energy? If you have a big problem where you're truly obsessed or addicted to this, then cold turkey is a recommendation I have. Um, but I know that's not realistic for a lot of people. Like, I tend to have an obsessive personality when I'm learning stuff. I have a Gemini Mercury, so I'm just like very curious and like constantly need to be stimulated and learning. And so sometimes I have to force myself to just really be human, watch like human TV shows and not learn anything else. And it's part of integration, right? Like you have to integrate after you go through like breakthroughs or have big, you know, situations that happen in spirituality. It kind of reminds me of the plant medicine combo. You can't just keep doing ayahuasca without integrating what you learn in each ayahuasca setting. Um, you can't keep having spiritual breakthroughs and not actually integrate, like embody what you just learned. You ha it's a whole process. And if you don't embody it or if you don't integrate it, you actually just keep cycling through the same lesson and test. So I wanted to say that I know I'm not giving you guys like any big advice necessarily. Maybe I'll do another video for that. But I think it's a theme right now because Mercury was in retrograde. Mercury is the planets of um, communication and like thinking. It's in Gemini. So it's very like in the air right now. And so I think a lot of us are struggling with this. So if you're finding that you're struggling with this right now, you have some spiritual fatigue, go out in nature, ground yourself. If you don't have like nature's handy, do things that are good for you. Take a bath, you know, light some candles, have your own time, listen to music, do play with your dogs, whatever it is that makes you happy and joyful, do that right now for yourself and get out of your head and you do not have to constantly be learning. You'll, you'll have tons of time. But what you do need to do is if you feel that energy where it's becoming like a obsession or addiction, 
you're gonna have to redirect that because that's a block for you. And by redirecting it, I would encourage you to redirect it onto yourself and redirect it onto yourself with acceptance and no judgment and just coming up with a game plan of how to move forward to fix it. Um, if you need help, hit me up for coaching and we can talk through your specifics and maybe I can help you with that. Um, but yeah, this is a theme. It's, you know, there's no shame in it. I think we all go through this in different ways, even if it's not spiritual, right? Like I have family members who are obsessed with sports to the point where I feel like they should listen to this video, but you get my point. Um, I'm sending you nothing but love. I hope you guys are all well and I will see you on the next video. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you.